Hey guys, this is Joe Springrant. I am here with Caitlin, who plays Enid from The Walking Dead. Hey, How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Is this your first time at New York Comic Con? Yes, I'm so excited. I love it so far. It's amazing. Have you been on the floor at all? Mm, I like stepped through like once. And then you're like, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with this. Um, so you guys are coming back, and it's going to be your 100th episode. Yes. And uh, tell us where everybody's kind of at, so we kind of know what to expect. I mean, well, I mean, it's. Like, literally, we just start off with the action right off, like, right at the top. So it just, it picks up right away. Um, so everyone's kind of in this mode of war and battle. Like, we have to get through this. we got to win. That kind of thing. So you, it's it's very uh, adrenaline-rushing first episode. Something I loved about last season was that it ended with the good guys actually pulling out a victory. And I did not expect that. Yeah. Uh, I just didn't. Um, but now I feel like you can't be too happy in this world so um <laughs> what what's to expect oh if you mean of unhappiness for yeah this i mean are we t- don't tell me i'm gonna have to go through all the heartache i went through La- last season was tough yeah there's uh the way i've been explaining this season is it's a roller coaster ride you're always gonna have adrenaline throughout but there's gonna be some steep drops in the show that you're gonna have to push through you're gonna have to kind of scream your way through now i have a question especially about enid do you think that she uh, feels a sense of responsibility to become either like a caretaker or uh, someone of like obviously loyalty towards Maggie now that Glenn's gone and Glenn mm-hmm. kind of accepted her into like his family. Yeah. Like, what do you, how do you kind of view that? I think uh, Glenn and Maggie have opened Enid up to a completely different side of her. And it's really interesting to see from where she came, where she was very closed off, uh, had all these walls put up around her. But now we. As the seasons have progressed, we've seen her kind of break down those walls right. for people like Carl and Glenn and Maggie. And now, I think as this battle has begun, Enid's kind of becoming more a group member. And she wants to see what she can do to help out instead of just surviving on her own. Right. And piggybacking on that, where do you think, how do you think Enid contributes to, to the rest of the group now? Where's her place? Um, I think her place is at Hilltop with Maggie. You know, and it's with the people that she has opened up herself to. So, like, Maggie and Carl. Um, So, I think that she's going to do anything to help them, and she's going to do anything that's going to, you know, help their community prevail. Now, speaking of Carl, this last season, we saw a lot of interaction with Richard Dean Morgan's character, Negan. Um, I feel like they've come to, I don't know, it's a weird mutual respect. It's almost like Hook, you know what I mean, Where, where Hook has that relationship with... With Captain Hook and yeah. Peter Pan. So that's it, a really good analogy right. for it. It wasn't yeah. mine. It was our camera guy. Oh, but, okay. <laughs> that was really good. Um, it, it is. It, it makes sense. But do you think that now with Negan going forward with with Carl and Ellie have this kind of understanding almost that um, how does that how does that affect Enid? Like how does Enid affect Carl's uh, relationship? Um. I mean, I feel like Carl still wants to see him dead. I feel like everyone on this show still wants to see Negan dead with the stuff that he's done and the person that he is. That's kind of a main priority. But, I mean, if Carl ever said to Enid, like, well, maybe he's not that bad of a guy, she would just slap him right across the face. She'd be like, no, do not start thinking that. With the the things that he has done to affect not only him, but the entire... Or not only him, not only her, but the entire community, like... There's too much to just... Too cross. much has happened yeah. at this point now. We're not going to get a, a... You don't want to see a redemption in the No, no. No one does. No. How far uh, advanced do you guys get scripts where you, where you know that what's... At least where you're, where you're going with certain characters? Oh... Uh, whenever we get the episode. Yeah. So that's probably like the last two or three days of the episode we're filming before. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's very like... It's very like you kind of find out as you go. As Which I kind of like as well because, you know, when you're a character, you don't always know what's going to happen sure. next. So it kind of keeps the mystery not only for the viewers but for us. Well, so you're kind of two episodes ahead as you're, like, you're reading two episodes ahead as you're shooting two episodes behind. Yeah, pretty much. So does that um, does that affect your acting at all because you know where you're going to be in two episodes? Um, I mean, not so much. I mean, in some ways, like... If the character makes a decision in the, episode, in the next episode, we can kind of, as an actor, you can kind of just, like, build that up in the episode before and change your thinking into where it makes more sense for them to make that decision. Sure. Now, with Enid's character, um, obviously your group is ex- ever-expanding but also shrinking at the same time with people 
unfortunately, meeting yeah. their untimely deaths. Um, is there a character that you specifically would like to see Enid like work with more? Um, I want to. Oh, I want to work with Melissa. Okay, Carol. I feel like yes. I feel like they would be so cool together. Either Melissa or um, either Melissa or Norman. I really? feel like they would be really cool because I. The thing about Daryl, um, well, that's also Melissa plays Carol sure. and uh, Norman plays Daryl. Just I don't know if that's <laughs> if that's a thing. I, I would assume you would know. Um, but I, I feel like because I really loved the dynamic that Enid and Glenn had together. Yes, I thought it went. Uh, it felt amazing working it out, and I think it like portrayed amazing on screen as well. Absolutely. And so I feel like you could kind of get that again with uh, Daryl. Oh like sure, it, sure. Like know? this, this, and it, and it is becoming more of a family, which which I love that. And you know, it's kind of accepting it now mm-hmm. instead of just running away from it. Yeah. Uh, another question I had is, as Caitlin, which one of the three locations would you would you reside in? Alexandria, the hilltop, or the kingdom? Alexandria. Really? Why? Yeah, because it's air conditioning. They have running water and they have electricity. Oh my gosh, that's like the best place to shoot because Hilltop is terrible to shoot at because we're on a hill, we're surrounded by metal, and it's just blazing hot all the time. A lot of method acting, yeah? Yeah, it's so so miserable up there. But the kingdom has a tiger. The kingdom is pretty sick. That would be my second choice. But, I mean, running water and electricity... That's that's pretty sweet. It is. I know that's like exactly the opposite of where my character Enid would be. She would definitely want to be like at Hilltop or the Kingdom, some place that you know it makes more sense because it's still like a part of the apocalypse, sure. and you're not pretending that it's not there. But I want to pretend the apocalypse <laughs> is not there. There's no walkers outside. Now I'm sure you're a fan of the show of your own work as well, and, and everybody else's. Now, what character as Caitlin do you not want to see die this season? Oh, Enid. <laughs> That's a good answer. That's a fair answer. Yeah, I want to keep working on this show for as long as I can. I mean, because not only is it an amazing show, um, but just the people on it are so sweet and so loving. I I couldn't be more thankful. Well, so, you guys are doing it. Come like- on, Enid. Keep, stay alive. Stay alive, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every, every script you're, you're Yeah, I'm just like, Enid, Enid, Enid. <laughs> um, now, obviously, The Walking Dead is based on a pretty successful comic book, um, and superhero films are... Huge. Obviously, we're in New York Comic Con, right? Yes. If you could portray any superhero, who would you want to portray? Oh, uh, mm, like guy or girl? Either. Well, let's see. Now, because in the Marvel Universe, my favorite character was uh, Deadpool, mostly because of my brother. Okay. His favorite character was Deadpool, and I was like, why? And then I figured out how amazing he was, and I was like, yes, that totally makes sense. Um, and then... In DC Comics, my favorite character was the Flash. The funny Flash. I don't remember which one that is. I think it's Barry... There's Barry Wally? Wally? Wally. I think it was probably Wally. Um, but Wally West, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the funny ones. The funny ones. I always Flash, go, yeah. yeah, like I always go for the funny characters. I love them. Um, I don't know if I would play them, but... I've always wanted to play, like, Batgirl or something. I well, there is a Teen Titan sick. show now, Caitlin. I know. Oh, my gosh. No, Raven. That's who I always wanted to play was Raven. Ah, oh, and I missed my chance. Well, hey, there's still a, a cinematic film to remember, be made, I feel yeah, like. I remember I was watching, like, Teen Titans when I was little. Like, I would watch Justice League and Teen Titans. Those were, like, so sick. And, uh, yeah, like, I remember I watched this one movie that just recently came out, and it was, like, it's the ones where with like Batman and his son, and his son becomes Robin, and then Robin teams up with Teen Titans. Damien, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so Raven was in that one, and I thought she was sick in that. And I was like, can I play the live action version of this? You I would love that. Great Raven. <sighs> Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> well, Caitlin, I can't wait for the Walking Dead's 100th episode, and um, it's gonna be great. Long live Enid, right? Long Hopefully. live Fingers crossed. Enid. Totally. Knock on everything. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>